In other news, Maine lawmakers are looking ahead, proposing a COVID-19 patient bill of rights. That proposal would mandate insurance companies to provide free coverage for COVID-19 related health care services like testing. The biggest concern, how would it be implemented and whether it would actually work? NECN's Justin Vlitkowski breaks it down for us. Coverage for testing, vaccines, and COVID-19 healthcare services mandated by law. Ideas all outlined in a COVID-19 Bill of Rights drafted by Maine leaders. Having that enshrined in statute makes it more clear to people. Maine Senate President Troy Jackson is one of the bill's sponsors. He says the ideas in it came from voters and will lock in pandemic safeguards for Mainers after emergency orders from the governor expire. Executive orders go away. To that end, the bill would prevent insurance carriers from imposing cost sharing requirements on consumers for COVID-19 screening, testing and immunization. It also explicitly allows pharmacists to administer COVID-19 vaccines, permits people like registered nurses to prescribe drugs at 180 day supplies during statewide emergencies. This is the law, so you shouldn't be confused by an insurance company. As for Maine's governor's take on the bill. We've been working on that already during the pandemic. The commissioner of Maine's Health and Human Services Department couldn't say she'd sign it, but she definitely supports its concepts. I believe that Governor Mills did express her shared support for us trying to ensure that people in Maine don't find themselves surprised with a bill when they go to get a COVID vaccine. Public hearings for the COVID-19 Patient Bill of Rights haven't been scheduled yet, but it's expected to be a high priority. Maine's Association of Health Plans, which represents insurers in the state, is reviewing the proposal now. It says it'll be at those hearings. In Portland, Dustin Blikowski, NECN.